Mother's Day today, it's Sunday. Louise and I have just driven down to Dad's in London, up to Dad's in London, in fact. And we rarely ever come here together, so we've just dug out all the old instruments from around the world that Dad kind of just has around his house as furniture. And we're trying to play them all. We're starting a band. We're starting a Murray band today. That's the plan. <laughs> we're also cooking him lunch. We bought um, some big fat ribeye steaks, and I've made some dolphin more potatoes, and it's gonna be nice. <laughs> Oh, there is a. Oh. <laughs> There's a reed in it, too. No, that's not happening. <laughs> oh! Those two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, I heard that. Favourite child award goes to me. I can't remember if I've shown this in a vlog before, but when I was about four, I painted this stone and it's a self portrait, but actually, it's incredibly accurate. Oh, my stone. No, this is my one. Yours was oh, the. This is my stone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's you. This is me. Yours doesn't look like you, though. Mine's a vintage. Hang on. <laughs> Maybe it does. <laughs> Hey, you kids, cut that out. <laughs> That's horrible. It's got the big eyebrows, the kind of blonde short hair. It's completely... Bigger lips than my lips, I'll give it I'll give it to the stone. It's got nicer lips than me. <laughs> Bearing in mind the dolphin wild potatoes were my only responsibility for the day. It's got wrong. <laughs> Father's Day lunch is served. Yeah. Mushroom Ooh. and sauce. Looks Thank you good. very much, daughters. Thank you. You're welcome. They are fantastic. Yeah, they are good. This one for me. Look she was going to do a pavlova and then she was like, I've had a change of heart. Look. <laughs> Yum. My Buddha. My Buddha. Oh, hi. It's editing Harriet again. <laughs> I'm seeing you more and more often these days. So as this was the Father's Day vlog and I didn't end it, I thought I would take this opportunity to talk a bit about my father. His name is Nick Murray, although he likes to go by Nick Van Murray because he sells vans and he thinks that's really entertaining, but actually everybody he knows literally calls him Nick Van Murray. It's hilarious. We're very close. Uh, we share a couple of passions, um, two of which are food and Mexico. We speak to each other most days, but what the conversation pretty much consists of is what we've both eaten that day, and we see which one of us can one-up the other. Um, it's usually him, to be fair, he's usually having the more exotic foods. I actually text him just before I started filming this to ask him what his favourite food was. I just wanted to confirm. And he's gone for pasta because he says you can have it so many different ways, but I don't think he's thinking straight. I'm sure it's something more like steak or Chinese or a roast. <laughs> but um, anyway, my favorite food is roasted duck breast, but it has to be cooked by him in order for it to qualify as my favorite meal. <laughs> so as I said, also in Mexico, we've got our family in Mexico. We went earlier this year and I think it's somewhere that is uh, really special to both of us and uh, we love going and hopefully one day he'll have a place out there and we can come and visit all the time. That would that would really be the dream. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people will say this about their dads, but my dad is literally the most selfless human being on this planet. He is extremely kind and caring and generous. He doesn't do anything half-hearted, anything he puts his mind to, he literally goes at it 100%. For instance, last year he did up his garden completely and it's absolutely incredible now. And this year he's been doing up the whole staircase and hallways up to his flat. He's refurbished them back to how they were in like the Victorian times, which is incredible. So yeah, he certainly doesn't do anything half-hearted. And above all, I just know that he would do anything for me at any hour of the day. I've got an example of something, but this makes me look like a massive brat. 
so I'm going to share it with you anyway. So there was one time that I was going out to see mum in Dubai and I, I rang dad to ask if he would possibly give me a lift to the airport at a ridiculous time in the morning. He was like checking his calendar and he said, oh, I'm really sorry, I can't, you know, I've got a commitment on that day, I've got to be somewhere to do this. And I was like, oh, okay, no worries. And we ended the conversation, I said goodbye. And then I literally held my phone like this and waited a couple of minutes. And sure enough, he rang back and said, I've changed my plans, I'll come, I'll come and pick you up at whatever time it was. He's just great and I love him very much. So there we go. That's Nick Van Murray for you. Give this vlog a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you very soon, bye.